my name is Ellie. And I'm Mrs. Laura, and you're here with LearnPal. Today we're going to do a fun activity. We're trying to make this bug with these instructions. We have each one, a little boy and a little girl. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to see on your paper, it has all of these different items that you need, okay? So we have eyes, we have straws that we might need, buttons, and fuzzy sticks, which are pipe cleaners. But boys and girls, just so you know, if you don't have any of these items, that's okay. You can kind of build a bug with whatever objects you can find at home, as long as you're following the numbers of how many it tells you that you need to put on, okay? So let's just say, let's pretend like you don't have two buttons. You can just use two beads, you can use two coins, whatever you have at home, okay? But first, we're gonna build the body of the bug. Now the body of the bug is going to need Play-Doh. So let's go ahead and take our Play-Doh and we're gonna open it up. Nice job. I like purple. And you like purple? Good. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you got the purple one then. Yep. I got blue and I like blue too. I like all the colors. Okay? I like the rainbow color. Me too. They're really um, really pretty, right? Yeah. And you have a whole rainbow together? Yep. Okay, so here we go. Let's get started. First, as you're... Oh, you're still taking <laughs> your stuff out? That's okay. I'll wait for you. <laughs> okay, Good. let's first warm up our fingers, the muscles in our hands, by squeezing the Play-Doh. Okay? And then we're going to start building the body of our bug. So we're going to put the Play-Doh down. We're going to put the Play-Doh down and it, I'm going to start first, right? Yeah, and just so you know though, before you start, if you want to choose what kind of body you want for your Play-Doh, you can either make the body of your bug either be maybe a circle. So if you want it to be a circle, you can kind of do this with your hands, okay? Kind of go back and forth in your hands or around and around. Or you can even make your bug super flat. So if you take your circle and then push down with two hands, okay, we're gonna push, push, push. Make it super flat, push, push, push. You're gonna leave your body in a circle? Yep. Okay, cool, I'm gonna make mine flat so our friends can see two different body shapes for our bugs. So I'm gonna yep. keep pushing, making it nice and flat. And okay, I'm ready to go. So, so. let's see. How many eyes does your bug tell you that you need to put on yours? Mine, I have to put three. Three eyes, <laughs> that's kind of silly. I only have two eyes, so I'm gonna put two eyes on mine. So I gotta follow the directions of my paper. Hmm. And you can make it kind of silly. Maybe I'll put one right here. Oh, maybe it's an alien. Maybe I'm making an alien bug. I don't know, we're gonna see what it's gonna look like. <laughs> Okay, and then don't forget, boys and girls, when you're picking up your little objects, please use your crocodile fingers, okay, to pick up the little objects that you have. Okay, what comes next? What's your next one tell you that you're in need? I have to have four gems. Four gems? Mine tells me that I need three pieces of straws, okay? So, hmm, if you don't have gems, boys and girls, you can use beads, kind of like how Ellie's using beads because we didn't have gems. Yeah. So she's putting in three over there. I'm gonna make and then that I'm a hair. Do three straws. Okay? I need four. So I'm gonna put one over here using my crocodile fingers, one. And then this one over here, two. And then I'm gonna do three. <laughs> Looking kind of funny, right? Yeah, actually, that looks like an octopus, but without eight legs. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Let me see what yours looks like so far. So I made the hair, but I still need a mouth. <laughs> That's kind of silly. Okay, I like yours too. Looks really cute. <laughs> yeah, now she looks like an alien, but with hair. Yeah. What does your bug tell you that you need next? I look at your little um, paper. One button. I'll I need two nose. buttons. Oh, mm. I want to have a little one. Check. Maybe Get I'll make ears with nose. my buttons. You're going to make a nose, I'll make ears. <laughs> Mine looks kind of funny. so funny. It does look super funny so far. I like it. I made a little note and also I think now we have to do two fuzzy sticks. Does yours say that? Um, I have fuzzy sticks but mine says four. Oh. Hmm. What should I do with four fuzzy sticks? Um, hmm. Maybe you could make a sun. 
A sun? Yeah, so you just add more of, you just add four more, and maybe it could look like a sun. A sun monster? Yeah. Okay, I'll try that. What are you going to do with ours, your fuzzy stick? Oh, I'm going to make this, um, maybe I'm going to make mine's like, uh, I don't really know. It's okay, just be creative. Just start putting it inside your play I'll put it in the hands. Of. Maybe this monster has a hand. And I'm going to poke it because actually this kind of hand is way too big, so I'm just going to poke it. Uh -huh. Like really deep. And like this it. is how my crazy monster looks like. And this is my crazy monster. Ooh. Yours looks like a sun monster. It does. My sun has two ears, two eyes, and then these are, the, I guess, the rays of the sun. What about yours? What can you tell us Wait. about your bug? Maybe, maybe we can count them and see if it's actually an octopus that has ears. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Seven. Oh, we just need one just more. Just missed one more for it to be an octopus, but that's okay. Well, boys and girls, I wonder what you what you created at home. I wonder what kind of bug you created. So yeah. if you have your bug and it's all done, go ahead and take a picture of it and you can send it to us. We'd love to see what your little bug looks like. And thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.